Welcome, Welcome to, to a couple, couple of bunkies. In this video, we are going to show you how we made this officer's crest that was commissioned to us a few months ago. I was requested to make a shadow box very similar to this one that was going for about a thousand dollars. We initially thought that this would be a cool project to make with a CNC. So I ended up purchasing these two 3D files. In order to make this 3D project into a shadow box, I had to hollow out a couple areas. I made the shape of the opening, extruded it to a certain dimension, then overlapped it with the wing, so then I could subtract that area from the sculpture. Tim repeated the same process for other wing and the shield. By the way, I'm using free software that comes with Microsoft. It's called 3D Builder and it's fairly easy to learn. So this Officer Crest shadow box has a lot of symbolism with it. The first thing to notice is the crossed anchors in the back. This tells us it is a Navy officer's crest. The next important part is the Mustang. The Mustang symbolizes that the person was enlisted when they joined the Navy, but became an officer later on in their career. I was not entirely confident with the CNC that I have in the basement because of its a DIY handmade CNC. So we reached out to a local company that brings your 3D imaginations to life. The cost of doing it this way ended up being way more than the commissioner really wanted to pay. So I ended up making some templates in order to make this whole project by hand. So I got down to the shop and started preparing some lumber for joining. We decided to make it out of cherry because it was readily available. As I had shown before, I had to make three different layers at three different thicknesses. I started off by making enough wood in order to cover the top two layers. After preparing enough lumber, Tim had to plane everything down. Some of the boards were a little bit twisted, so he had to use a straightening jig through the planer. Now I lay out, tape together, and cut out the template for this project. If you enjoy watching projects like this, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button and ring the bell icon for notifications on future videos. I place the boards underneath the template so it covers the eagle and the shield. This gives me a really good idea on what boards I need to join together. I glue the boards together. I clamped them tight and started preparing for the next layer, the legs, the mustang, and the shield. I set the glued boards aside and started working on the next layer. On the last glue up, I ended up using all of my forefoot clamps. Tim has prepared something he calls a Z jig for the purpose of holding something together that his clamp wouldn't allow. So I needed to resaw some material that I was going to use for the back of this project. After I got done resawing the material, I took the material over to the planer. I needed to run the boards through in order to maintain the thickness of each one and to take off any rough surfaces. Tim laid the boards down that would make the back of the entire project. After using the template as a quick judge, I went ahead and glued up this project. I had to use plenty of jigs and weights in order to make sure that this project turned out straight. Tim set the boards to dry overnight so the glue can set. The next morning, I literally had to pry off the boards from the table. Now I laid a new template over top of the first layer of this project. And I did the same thing for the second layer. I was able to use my bandsaw in order to cut the front of this project since it was fairly small. The throat of my bandsaw just wasn't big enough for the second layer. 
So I ended up having to use my jigsaw in order to cut out the larger parts of this project. After the layers were completely cut out, I was able to remove the template and lay the layers on top of each other. Before cutting the holes for the display, I decided to go ahead and sand down both areas, making sure they would sit flush together for a good glue up. Then I used a round over bit in my Black & Decker Matrix router to round over all of the edges that would be showing. Then using a paddle bit, I drilled a hole in each of the areas that would have openings. But I quickly realized it would be much better to add some detail to this project before cutting out these openings. I added the details with a V-bit and a router. I followed all of the paths that I had on the template. After the details were in place, I went ahead and cut out the openings to the ribbon cases. Right now I'm using a small Black & Decker jigsaw. I completely forgot that I ended up having a new Bosch jigsaw in the corner of my shop this entire time that would have cut this out much more neater. I use a round over bit to round over the inner parts of the openings that I just made. I then use a router and rabbiting bit in order to create a rabbit around the area where the glass will be held in this shadow box. I find that using a round over bit I sometimes get a little bit of a rough edge. I use a palm sander to smooth down that rough edge. I also use a Dremel in order to remove any burn marks left over by the router. Something just didn't look right to me about the eagle's beak, so I went ahead and gave it a little bit more of a hook, followed by a little rounding over and a little bit of sanding. I lay out and glue the template onto the back layer of the officer's crest so I can cut it out with the jigsaw. After I cut out the back part of the crest, I go ahead and start making some of the small details in the anchors and the background. I would trace the template with a marker use a plunge router and v-bit in order to make some of the smaller details on this surface. After looking at the details, we ended up going ahead and cutting these areas out with our Monport laser engraver and painting this back panel black in order to give us a good contrast. We were able to make semi-relief appliques that fit perfectly onto this project. After using the jigsaw for some touch-up work, I set all three panels on top of each other for a final look. I want to save the back paneling for using as doors in order to open and close this display case. So I do a plunge cut with a circular saw so I don't have any holes inside of the back of these panels. I then use the jigsaw in order to finish off the cuts made with the circular saw. In this process I ended up having some cherry veneer snap in certain areas. I wasn't too concerned about this because the next step would be gluing the back panel to the front panel holding everything together in three directions. Using the original 3D file, I was able to create some black and white appliques that I was able to glue right on the project. The amount of detail that it added to the anchor and the ropes was a tremendous improvement. After the appliques were glued on, I went over everything with the jigsaw, the sander, and the Dremel. We actually went over the process that we took in order to convert 
the 3D file into a file that can be read by the laser engraver. If you're interested in this process, please click on the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now that we had the anchors and the Mustang done, something just needed to be done about the eagle and its claws. I wanted to make it so the claws looked like it was reaching out and grabbing the shield. So I created these two images in order to engrave. After adding these appliques, I was able to add the back and the suede inner liner. The original buyer for this project ended up backing out. So we have it available on our eBay store. Please check out our eBay store. Link is in the description below. I served in the Navy for eight years. And I always looked up to those people that pushed a little bit further and went the way of the Mustang. These Mustangs start off at the bottom of the military hierarchy and work their way up the ranks. While doing so, they end up earning the respect of their supervisors and their peers. If you know someone that you highly respect that went through this type of challenge in their life, consider sharing this video with them. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please like and subscribe. Ring the bell icon for notifications for upcoming videos. We try to release new videos every Thursday.